Afternoon, new details about the official probe into that fatal shooting by some Prince George's sheriff's deputies. It happened overnight during what began as a domestic dispute call. At a Suitland home on Houston Street, the arriving county deputies said they were confronted by a man and eventually forced to fire. The man was wounded but died later on. Brad Bell has more on what happened next. Well, this is what we know at this point. According to a press release from the Prince George's County Sheriff's Department, at about 1 a.m. this morning, deputies responded to this house for the report of a domestic disturbance involving a gun. The press release goes on to say that two deputies were inside talking to a woman when the man described as a suspect returned to the property and confronted deputies, that's their word, confronted deputies at the door. At that point, the press release says one deputy fired struck the man in the chest, he later died. Now the press release does not make any mention of the man having a gun. And we've had an opportunity to talk to a number of people in this neighborhood, including a lady who spoke directly to the woman of the house who says there was no gun involved. This was an unarmed man. He was arguing with the deputies at the time of the shooting, but he was not armed. Now, we've asked the Sheriff's Department for additional comment on this, and their response to us is, because it's an ongoing investigation, they don't have anything more to say. Now, we'll have more on this story coming up at 5, including neighbors who say the man who was shot and killed here was just a good, hard-working man. In Suitland, Brad Bell, News Channel 8.